Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be addressing a sometimes contentious topic of integrating Google Calendars into Home Assistant. I say contentious as the process is perceived to have changed with some older versions of Home Assistant. So in this tutorial, I'm going to give you the latest and updated instructions on how to get this up and running. On this channel, we aim to give you exact instructions with as minimal fluff as possible to get your features up and running, but also to be informative about how we can use this feature, identify potential issues, and provide you with solutions to resolve those issues. So this is going to be a long one, sorry. But by the end of it, you'll have a working Google Calendar and Home Assistant integration and be able to trigger automations based on Google Calendar events. So buckle in, crack those knuckles, and let's dive on in. The Google Calendar integration can be found on the Home Assistant website. Links in the description below. Now, although it may seem that you simply press the Add Integration button, there is some preparation work that we need to do to get the details that the integration requires. The specifics are detailed in the Generate Client ID and Client Secret dropdown. The first thing we're going to need is to configure the developer credentials within Google to allow Home Assistant to access your Google account. So first, let's navigate to the Google Developer Console. Links in the description. Now, if this is your first time entering the Google Developer Console, there are a few steps to get to your dashboard, such as confirming your account and agreeing on the terms and conditions. Accept these until you arrive on this screen. Now, we are going to need to create a project, so press Create Project. You'll be asked to give the project a name. This is only a reference within the Google Console, so you won't need to remember it. So for demonstration purposes, let's call mine Home Assistant, noting that it must be more than four characters and less than 30 characters, and you can't change it afterwards. Now you can leave the location as no organization, as it will not be used. So just press create. Now to view our project, press the hamburger in the top left-hand corner, go to cloud view and view your dashboard, and you will see your project of Home Assistant. Next, we're going to enable the API and services. Press the hamburger in the top left-hand corner, select API and services, and select Enable APIs and Services. To enable your APIs and Services, press the button that says plus Enable APIs and Services. Search for and select Google Calendar APIs. Now press Enable to enable the API. Once the APIs have been enabled, we need to go and add some credentials. You'll see credentials on the left-hand side. Select this. Next, on the right-hand side, press the Configure Consent screen. Next, we need to check to see if it's gonna be an internal or external. Select external and press create. Next, on the OAuth consent screen, we need to give it an app name. Give it a user support email address. This should be your Gmail address. Now in the developer contact information, give it the same Gmail address and press save and continue. Next, you'll be taken to the scope screen where you can set permissions. But since this is only going to be used by Home Assistant, we can skip this, press save and continue. Now as a good developer, we're going to need to test this. So press add users and type in your Gmail account and press add. Now we've added our tester in, we can press save and continue. Google will present you with a summary of what you've created. Now let's go and input our credentials by selecting the credentials on the left hand menu. To add credentials, press the plus create credentials. We're going to be selecting the OAuth client ID. Now select your application type, which should be TV and limited input devices. Now give it a name. Press Create. Google Developer will provide you with OAuth client credentials. Copy both the client ID and the secret to a safe place. It is also recommended you save the JSON, which contains these credentials for later reference. Press the Download JSON. These will be saved to your downloads directory. Now press OK. As a check, let's go and check with our library. Search for and select Google Calendar API. Select your Google Calendar API you should see that the API has been enabled. Now we've completed everything we need in the Google Developer, so we can head back into Home Assistant. Search for Google. A sub-menu will appear. Now select Google Calendar. Now we ask for a name, an OAuth client ID, and an OAuth client secret, all of which we've just created inside of the Google Console. Now let's give it a name of the calendar that we're accessing. 
copy and paste in the credentials that we copied from the Google Developer Project and press Add. You will need to verify the account. Copy the code. Navigate to the link. Paste in your code and press Continue. Select the appropriate account. You will be presented with a screen telling you that Google has not verified this app. Nothing to worry about here. And Google will ask you if you wish to continue. As you are creating this project and app, press the Continue button. You'll be asked if you want to give your project access to your Google Calendar. Press Allow. You should be greeted with a success. You have connected your Google Calendar. Now, if you've been following along, you might not have been quick enough for Google and the request might have timed out. If this is the case, you can simply follow along from the adding the integration again and follow the steps that you have already done and it should go through no issues. Back in Home Assistant, you will see a success screen. Simply press Finish. Congratulations, you have successfully linked Google Calendar with Home Assistant. The next question you'll be asking is, that's great, now what can I do with it? We are going to walk through three different scenarios. Firstly, we'll pick up on a specific calendar for a bin day and time within our Google Calendar and send an Alexa notification to a speaker announcing that we should put the bins out at that time. Next, we'll check on a description of a triggered event within a specific calendar within our Google Calendars and trigger a notification to be sent to a specific mobile companion app. And finally, we'll mix these up a bit and trigger on an event in the main calendar, check if it contains the word movies and send a notification to the Lounge Alexa and read out the calendar event message. So in our first user case, go into Google Calendars, create a Google Calendar called Bin Night. This is done by pressing the plus next to the other calendars, create calendar and give it a name and press create calendar. Navigate back, let's create an event. Give it a title. In this case, put the bins out. Give it a time. Now make sure that you've put this into our new bin times calendar and press save. Now let's create the automation to support this. Now it's important to note at this point that Google synchronizes with Home Assistant every 15 minutes, although you can force it. In this case, let's go and force it. Go into settings, go into integrations and devices, select your Google calendar. To the right of it, you'll see three dots. Press these, press reload. Integration was reloaded. Our calendar will now be in Home Assistant. So let's go and add our automation. Settings, automations and scenes. Press the plus create automation. Create the automation. Add the trigger. Select calendar. In the entity, select your calendar. Now let's trigger this automation 10 minutes before the actual bins should be put out. Leave event start alone. In the time, put 10 minutes. Now let's create our action. Press add action. Call the service. In the services, search for and select the notification to the specific Alexa you require. Type in the appropriate message and we're done. What this automation will do is it will trigger based on 10 minutes before the f an entry is found in the bin times. When that is triggered, it will send a message to the study Alexa and it will say, put out the bins. Press save, give it an appropriate name and press save. Next, we'll cover our second user case. Let's insert a calendar event for Paul going to the gym which is a repeating event every night at 6 p.m. We'll create an automation that will trigger based on the next event, search the title for a specific text and send a notification to an Alexa speaker based on this. Navigate to your Google Calendar. Insert an event for Paul at gym at six o'clock. Make sure this is in the main calendar and press save. Now let's navigate to our automations. Press plus create automation. Create automation. Let's add a calendar trigger, select your main calendar. We're not going to apply an offset. Let's add a condition, select template. Copy this text directly from the description and paste in. This will search for the word Paul at Jim inside of the summary event. Now let's add our action. Call service, send a notification to your specific Alexa speaker. Give it an appropriate message and press save. Give it an appropriate name and press save. For this automation, it will trigger based on the next event that happens in the Smart Home Australia calendar. There is no offset time. It will search through the description and it will look for the words Paul at Jim. When it finds this, it will send a notification to the Media Study Alexa with Paul at Jim. In our final automation, we'll enter a calendar event into the main Google Calendar 
for Paul at the movies. Then we'll create an automation that will trigger based on an event in the main calendar. It'll search the title for the words movie and if found, it will send a notification to the Alexa with the full title of the event. Navigate back into your calendar. Press plus create in the top right hand corner. Select event. Paul at the movies. Select an appropriate time and day making sure that the event is located in the main calendar and press save. Navigate back to Home Assistant. Navigate back to your automations via settings and automations and scenes. Plus, plus create automation, create automation, add a trigger. In the entity ID, select the main calendar, select event start, put an offset of one hour, add a condition, select template, copy and paste the following from the description. What this will do, will we just search for the word movies in the calendar event. Now let's add our action. Press add action, call service, search for and select your appropriate Alexa device. Give it an appropriate message and title. Now for us to be able to pass the full event title to Alexa, we need to make some changes in YAML. Press the three dots, edit in YAML. Where the YAML says message, change this to the text that is in the description and press save. Give it an appropriate name, and press save. What this automation will do is the one hour ahead of a triggered event inside of the Smart Home Australia calendar. It will search through the calendar event summary, which is the title for the word movies. If that condition is met, it will then send the title of the event to the Alexa Media Study speaker. Three final points to mention. Firstly, is that we are triggering these automations based on the next event from a specific calendar. If you have all the events in a calendar, then it will override all other calendar events. So if you're going to use all day events, then maybe create a separate calendar specifically for Home Assistant or conversely for all your all day events. Secondly, as mentioned, the sync of the Google Calendar happens roughly every 15 minutes, but as shown, you can force these to occur on demand. Now, if you want to automate the forced synchronization, then you can do this with a service call. Navigate to Developers Tools, Services, search for and select Home Assistant Core Integration Reload Config Entry. Select your calendar. Now press Service Call. This will refresh your Google Calendar. Thirdly, you can view, delete, add entries to your Google Calendar. Just remember that currently you cannot modify Google Calendar entries. You can view your Google Calendar by selecting Calendar in the left-hand menu that will appear once you have added the integration. And we're done. So that is Google Calendar, fully integrated with Home Assistant, fully visible, ability to add and delete entries. Also to be able to trigger automations based on events and even search events for specific text and send the full title via notification to whatever destination you wish, be it your smart speaker or companion app. You can even send a message to Telegram if you wish. Watch the video in the pop out above or the link in the description below. I hope you liked the video and that it inspires you to go and link Google calendars into your home assistant and start automating based on your calendar entries. If you've enjoyed the video, then maybe buy me a coffee, subscribe, ding that bell, or join the growing community. Until the next one.